Hey friends, welcome to this episode of Making with Empathy. And what we want to do today is talk about a specific project that I want our students to work on, and that's designing a piece of adaptive technology to help somebody, namely me. So I was born with one hand, uh, I've got another one, and one thing I really love to do is I love to paint. So I paint miniatures, right? And I've got this cool little painting handle, and you hold it up like this, and you kind of paint, except I can't hold it. So what I end up doing is I like kind of put it down on the table and I kind of move it around and paint. But how cool would it be if you could build something that helps me hold the miniature so I can hold it this way and I can paint it. And it doesn't have to look like this handle, although this handle is pretty great. It's got a little spring-loaded action right there so you can kind of take stuff on and off. But just something that might hold a miniature so I could hold it in my little nub and I could paint with it. I think this would be a great project. You could 3D print some designs for it. It could be something that could either hold the model or it could be something that attaches to my miniature holder. This is a Citadel mini holder. Uh, I'll put the specs for this online. Uh, and what's cool is this is adaptable and the top of this even unscrews. So you can build something that See, the top comes off of it that that screws into. And this is a little spring-loaded thing that helps hold minis. And the bottom of it is like this. So maybe you 3D print the bottom of it with a screw in it that comes out. And I can hold it in my hand. Or you build something else or you make attachments that allow me to hold my miniatures while I paint them. Now, this is kind of a specific problem to me. But I think we can expand it by talking about people with disabilities and adaptive technologies they might benefit from, like a prosthetic that you might use for sports or for another hobby or even driving, right? Any kind of prosthetic that somebody might use that would attach to help them hold on to something with their one hand and then they can use their other because I don't have a pincer grip here. So that's kind of our first project. I'm going to do a little bit more and talk about some of these projects and specifications. You might want to do measurements for this. Uh, but send me an email or let me know some of these ideas you have. And let's brainstorm together and then maybe make some prototypes. And we can save. And the best part is you can send me STL files. I can print them out. So I got a whole bunch of 3D printers. And try them out and see if they work and give you feedback on your projects. All right. Thanks. Bye.